So I know I said that I would do an after classroom tour after my students left. However, it is Friday, April 28th, and I did not film my classroom yesterday afternoon. I just wanted to get out of here. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to go. Like I'm ready for summer break. It's about 7.30 in the morning. We have a professional day today where we have to meet with our administration and the grade level below us and the grade level above us. Uh, well, not really the grade level above us because that would be sixth grade and that would be middle school, but I don't know. We just have things to do. I have a ton of papers to grade, but I did want to just quickly walk around the room and show you like what changes happened um, yesterday afternoon to my room to show you guys. And yeah, let's just get started. So the entryway still looks the same. My Erla books still look the same. Um, this student ended up not having a chair. I guess he stacked his chair there. And if you can see, the chairs don't match up, even though every day I tell them, please match the chairs up. If you can see, the black leg stools are from Ikea. The silver leg stools are from Amazon. The stools from Amazon were about $10. And I told you earlier that the stools from Ikea were $4.99. So definitely recommend getting them from Ikea. This all looks the same. Nothing is out of the ordinary. Oh, one of the stools from the front ended up in the back of my room. That's different. This is all still the same. Class word game is still out of place. Textbooks are still here. Uh, my decimal chart got moved because my students were using my computers yesterday. Um, all of the MacBooks got put away yesterday, so that's a little bit different. My kidney table is still a mess. I have leggings here today to show some of my staff that had requested to buy leggings. Um, if you haven't heard LuLaRoe before, um, I am a consultant, so you can join our page, LuLaRoe Kelly and Candace. Um, there is Band-Aid trash there, and that was not there yesterday afternoon, so I don't know how that got there. Um, my desk still looks pretty clean. Again, like I said earlier, I like to keep my desk clean. That's the one thing that I think presentation-wise that teachers should just make sure that their test te desk remains um, clean. I don't know how many times I can say clean in the same sentence. But um, I just have some copies to make. I have to turn my computer on, and then I'm going to get this day started. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, so I'm back from our articulation. So we had to meet with our grade level teams and discuss four standards and what their learning targets were. Um, and then we got to speak with K through five teachers got together and spoke about what that looks like in our standards and in our classrooms. So it was really great to see what work is being done in my school. And it's great to always collaborate with other team members and with staff members that you don't get to see every day. Actually, I have a question. If you guys know of any progression documents out there, ones that are very, um, I want to say in student friendly language, uh, please let me know in the comment section or drop the link in the description or in the comment section because I'd really like to look at um, some progression charts this summer and see what kind of learning targets I can come up with for my standards. I didn't get what I was supposed to get done and I think that happens to a lot of teachers when they're in their classrooms for the day and not given like an agenda. I might need to start doing that. So I'm going to take um, some things home with me. Um, I did get my kidney table cleaned. so. This is my kidney table, it is kind of cleaned off. I'm gonna take these items home um, with me. I think I'm interested in selling some of my teacher organizational bins because I need to update them. And a lot of new teachers are looking for um, cheap used stuff, but that's still in good condition. So I'm going to look online. Um, if anyone knows where they can sell teacher storage bins and stuff like that, I'd love to um, give some student teachers some of my materials. Um, I think that's it. I have a lot to do this weekend and I have a lot to do this summer um, that I'm actually looking forward to. So I'm kind of reevaluating my life as a teacher and I feel like everybody does that in the summertime, kind of just decompress and kind of ask ourselves, what are we getting ourselves into? <laughs> All right, I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. It is Monday, May 1st, and I cannot believe that it's already close to the end of the year. Today was a really relaxing day because my students start park tomorrow, so I wanted today to just be chill and 
free of all worries and problems. And it was, it was a really great day. So I just wanted to show you really quickly that during park, my students are going to be completing a research project. And we have based this research project, we meaning my team in uh, fifth grade, we've been doing this project for five years now, probably more than that because I've only been here five years. But it's based off of a website called bls.gov. And it's the Bureau of something, I don't know. But it is a career research project. So we have created an outline based off of the website. So this is what the outlines look like. The title is their research. They have to go over um, attention getting and their thesis statement and their topics and their reasons for researching. Um, and then they just go into um, how to become one, their duties, how much training they need to have, um, they fill this all out and I really love this document because I love that we require our students to find this information using three sources. Now this doesn't mean that they have to use source one, source two, and source three to get their details, but we are trying to teach our kids to keep track of their information and where they are getting their information from. So this space here is just to let our students um, identify where they found their information. Um, and then their conclusion and why they wanted to study this career in the beginning. So it's just really simple and straightforward. It's nice to do during park because again, it allows the student to conduct the research project by themselves while still hitting the standards and testing. So I know there's probably gonna be a lot of anxiety for my students and this way they are able to use technology in the classroom and just have calm, relaxing, chill days. I actually have to get to our after school program. Today we're being evaluated or observed. So I have to prepare a couple of things for that. I have to go and complete my after school duties and then I have to go meet a customer that purchased some LuLaRoe from us um, and get her her items. So I'll be doing that this evening and then I'm probably just gonna have a chill day with my boyfriend. So I will see you guys tomorrow and I will let you know how our first day of park goes. Bye. Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, May 2nd, and it is the first day for Park ELA for my students. I have to get inside and take some things off my walls in my classroom. I am wearing my Harry Potter platform nine and three quarters shirt. I'm very excited to be wearing jeans all week. My administration is so nice to allow us to just feel comfortable in the classroom. It's nice that we can just feel relaxed and not overwhelmed with looking professional as well as having good instruction. We are focusing on our instruction this year. And yes, we have days that we have to dress up professionally. Um, however, this is one of those weeks. Um, and it actually, I think it has something to do with Teacher Appreciation Week. Yesterday we had chocolate bars. I'm not sure what's going on today, but all week we are allowed to wear jeans. So that's probably actually why we're allowed to wear jeans. And it's so nice. So I'm gonna get inside, take some things off of my wall, and kind of plan my instruction for today because we have to work around park. So I will see you guys later. So because we're testing, we are on a different schedule and we have specials at the end of the day. It's 1.45, 1.55, I just dropped my kids off and now I'm back in my room with the lights off and I think I'm gonna take a nap because I am exhausted. The pollen is getting into my eyes and it is so frustrating. I have a really bad headache. So I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here because I don't really have much to do or say. I don't have to teach after school today, which I'm so thankful for. I have a workout at 4.30. I to drop my computer off to a friend who offered to fix it for me. Thank God, because I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, and I think I'm just gonna take a nap. I wish I had specials at the end of the day every day. Um, however, I don't know that I would get anything done. I kind of wish we had like specials right at 8.30 so that I can get some grading done because right now I don't feel like grading. I just want to take a nap. So now that I think about it and talk it out loud, I feel like I would not want to have specials at the end of the day because I would just take a nap every single day. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, hopefully day two of park will go better than today. There were only 11 questions, I think, and my kids finished within an hour. So I don't know. Going back over test-taking strategies is what we need to do. All right. Bye.